Check this video out. So, that's gonna be the topic of today's video. Self-happiness. So, I am no pro at this whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to find it for a very long time now, but I feel that that is the problem because happiness shouldn't be something that you find, but something that stays within you. What I mean by that is that, um, let's say uh, you get a lottery ticket and you win $100. And you know that short-term happiness is there you feel it you're like oh sweet I want a hundred bucks and then you spend it on a tank of gas it's pretty costly now then where does it go that is just temporary happiness I feel like the um, the only thing that you can really do to be happy with yourself <laughs> Excuse me. You you have to be at peace with yourself and see the good in everything. And uh, in my last video, by the way, guys, thank you so much for your support. That was awesome. The positivity on that and feedback on that video was amazing. And uh, what was I gonna say? All right. The so um, you guys have to see the good in everything. And in my last video, I posted. And in the description, it said, always see your cup half full and never half empty. Just try and be as positive as possible when it comes to that kind of stuff. So what I mean is that in the Bible, you know, because um, if, if, if humans were to have a, a good life in general with no complications, no problems, no struggles, we would be very spoiled you know we would be very spoiled children of god that's why we have problems because that's just a part of life you know no one no one is not gonna have problems and if you do then you're doing something wrong the funny thing is that there was a study that um it says that if you guys genuinely smile so not like a like a pathetic smile like you know, like a sarcastic, don't, don't do, never sarcastic smile, because that always just comes off as bad. Always smile, you know, raise those cheekbones, you know what I'm saying, like, mm, nee. <laughs> you know, if you raise your cheekbones and genuinely smile, you will actually come to have better thoughts, more positive thoughts, if you will. Instead of being like, oh, you know, why God, why, uh, why did you let this happen to me? Why, um, why, why am I getting treated like this? You know, instead of saying that, you could say, "What are you trying to teach me from these events?" Um, so, um, I know not everyone is Christian, but there's a story in the in the Bible, and uh, there was a man named Job, which Job had everything, anything like. He had cattle, he had his wife, he had children, um, he had a huge farm, you know, and he believed in God. Yeah, he was living an amazing life. And one day, the devil comes up to, to God and was like, Hey man, I bet you that I can, uh, I can steal this guy from you. And then God was like, No, you can't. The devil was like, Oh, sure I can. Come on, let's bet on it. So God was like, All right. <laughs> He lost his cattle. Um, I'm sure you guys seen like there's like been pictures of it where Job is like covered in 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 uh, like not warts um, like open blist sores. He's covered in sores. He has disease. Um, I think like a couple like his children died. His like basically everyone dies and he's just left all by himself. No no nothing. Go uh, Job then asked God like hey god i still i still believe in you you know i still love you um but like why is this happening to me and after all that happened job still believed in him and the devil was like oh man i lost <laughs> so he just left and um <clears throat> and then god actually blessed job with double of everything so 
in today's life, um, maybe you lost a job, maybe, uh, um, maybe you're going through it right now, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know your guys' stories, but, um, I'll give you one of mine, you know, I, I did lose, um, what I thought was going to be my profession, but I gained something from that experience, you know, because I have been struggling to find my purpose in life and uh, purpose, like finding purpose is so hard. Some people get it instantly. Some people like they're freaking 70 years old when they find it. And I pray that I'm not one of those people and I can find it, you know, when I'm in like my 20s. Um, but it's uh, it's it's hard, you know, and I'm not saying that it's it's like not going to. Sorry, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but it's definitely worth sticking around to try and find and wait the next day and and count it as a blessing, you know, because you woke up some people didn't wake up and um it it truly is a blessing um waking up you know so every day you wake up because um psychologically man we need a purpose to survive and if we don't have purpose then we don't have a fire you know we our heart is like an engine we need fire to keep on going we have no coal if we don't have a purpose <laughs> And we can't, we, we just become vegetables. Like we become a slave to, to uh, um, what's it called? To pleasure. And we distract ourselves with pleasure because we have no purpose. So to all my dudes out there, I know that, that um, for pleasure, it can be, you know, um, video games, drugs, uh, excessive eating, uh, pornography, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, cause I've struggled with a whole bunch of stuff as well. And, um, I didn't feel, I, I still don't, I don't feel comfortable talking about that kind of stuff. But, um, if you want to practice and start trying to find your purpose, you have to get up. And you have to move. You have to do something. Like, I... Who knows? Maybe I could start something from this video. You know, I could maybe build a business off of this and, you know, be a positivity coach. Who knows? Right now, I'm studying to be a personal trainer. And I'm doing that because I'm like, hey, I like going to the gym. I like uh, helping people. Mix those together. What do you got? Personal trainer, right? But who knows, maybe I'll be a, a counselor or or uh, I'll be a therapist, you know? Life is full of mysteries and and if uh, if one of you guys that are watching my videos are, are depressed and, and, cause I mean, I've been there, you know? Um, if you guys are depressed or, or thinking about, you know, uh, doing something drastic, stick it out every day is a mystery and if you take one day at a time i promise you you'll be much happier don't don't think about the don't think about the future stop thinking about the past the those two have not come all right i mean that has gone the past is gone the future is still irrelevant if you stick to the present touch my mic stick to the present all right, it's like uh, what what uh, what's his name? Master Ugwe said to Poe, "Stick to the present." They call it the present because it's a gift. It's a gift that you're still here with us today. So, um, if you were thinking about doing something drastic, I'm glad that you're still here today. Um, um, I uh, I wanted to pray for you guys actually, but. Uh, it's not the end of my video yet. I wanted to keep talking about positivity. Um, so take one day at a time. Like I said, don't think about the past or the, the future. I have I struggle with um, thinking about the past because um, I would always think of the 
amazing times that I had in like elementary school or or the times that I had with my family and um, currently right now in my situation I am I am far away from all my family members I I live with my mom and um, we are situate I'm, I'm Hispanic and my Hispanic people will know what's up right now we're trying to apply for uh, uh, citizenship so well not me um, but uh, it's been hard because I had to move away from basically all my family and um, I at first I uh, I was actually happy not gonna lie I was actually happy that I was moving because at the time I was out you know I, w I was like what time only two I was 17 I was 17 when I graduated I'm 19 now, by the way, almost turning 20. I was very stupid. Like, it, I'm so surprised of what I could learn in two years, you know? I learned, oh my, I still even haven't learned patience, but, <laughs> you know, it's like you build you build these things uh, when you just keep living. But anyways, um, so I'm currently in Canada. Um, all my family's in the U.S., and uh, it's it's hard because, like I said at first, I was glad that I moved away just because I actually my family, and um, the only reason why I, I say that is because uh, when when I was over there when I was seventeen, um, my uh, I think I had some sort of resentment just because everything was changing. And what I mean by that is that, like, um, for example, I have a cousin over there. He's a great guy. And uh, when um, we started getting older, all of a sudden he has a girlfriend. And I'm like, hey, man, what about me? You know, like, I, I miss being your best buddy. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, um, like, I've made my peace with that now. I've made my peace with it now, but, um, you know, it, it still kind of gets me sad sometimes, <laughs> but, uh, um, I, I had like a little bit of resentment towards my cousin for leaving me out like that, but I made my peace with it now, you know, we're grown up and, uh, it's life, you know, we got to move on. And, uh, you know, I have, I have some little stupid thing for, for everyone in my family, but, um, you know, that's, you know, everything built up into like a ball of resentment that came with me. And, and ever since I, I moved here to Canada, I was like, holy crap, I've never been so wrong in, in, in doing this for like my family. So, um, if, if you guys woke up and you guys still have your family, give them a hug, man like it's insane never um it's 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 so hard when you lose something that you um there there's a saying hold on let me find this i can't find it but anyways um you you don't know what you have until you've lost it and i was too immature too young, too stupid to understand what I had and what I was blessed with, you know. I love my family so much. And um, coming here made me realize that even more. So, um, like I said before, instead of at saying, why are you doing this to me, God? Say, what can I learn from this? And from this scenario, I learned that moving away or oh, sorry i learned that family is so important and and if this goes for all of these all you guys if you guys feel any hate or 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 resentment or anything negative towards your family forgive them you, like just forgive them throw away that mentality, throw away those negative thoughts, move on like it never happened. You guys will be so much 
happier. Now, I'm not saying, like, like, just for, forgive, no, there's forgive, there's a, there's a saying, forgive, but don't forget. So there, you know, because some, some things might be, like, huge. I, I don't know what's going on in your guys' life, but, you know, something might be really huge, you're never gonna forget. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you to for, forgive or, ah, uh, uh, brain fart, sorry. Forgive, but don't forget. Now, um, I say that because my father, my dad, he left me when I was young, me and my sis, um, and yeah, he left us when we were really young, kicked us out, and you know, the funny thing is that he tried to reconnect with me uh, through Messenger, and he was like, hey son, how's it going? And I was like, oh, what's up dad? Uh, you know, long time no talk or no see and uh he was like oh it's going good you know blah 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 talking about his life i was like okay sweet and the funny thing is that he used manipulation to try and get me to talk to my mom and what he texted me in in his own words he said hey son would you mind talking to your mom to drop the the um what's it called the child support payments and i was like you gotta be freaking kidding me so you really only wanted to talk to me just to get through to my mom so i could tell her to drop child support payments it's like oh my gosh that is crazy so um i was i was like this close to to being like are you freaking kidding me that's all you wanted to talk to? No, but i don't know what what came through me when when he was texting me but i was just like like you haven't changed and i'm okay with that so i didn't respond at all i just left it as it is and and i just you know the the best thing i could have done is just block him at that point right so that's what i did i i don't i did tell my mom this but i told her like a year after and um my dad has no excuse for for not being there because i think that what he did was cowardly he there's a whole story behind this but at the end of the day i you know i forgive him so um if you guys are going through something similar forgiveness is much easier on the heart than carrying hatred your entire life so um that was pretty much the end of the video but uh i i did want to pray with you guys because boom check this check this thick thing out it even has golden pages man hey, look the blue one is for the the new testament this is the old testament i've been reading mostly the new testament just because the I, I will read the Old Testament, but it's it's kind of, uh, how would I say it? Some things are irrelevant in our day and age, but like, for example, it says that, that uh, it like, you know, there's really sexist stuff in there and stuff that kind of doesn't correlate into our lives, I could say, but I will still read it. Don't get mad at me, all right? I wanted to pray for you guys because I saw this when I was reading last night. Um, let me pull out. Here we go. <clears throat> so, this is in uh, Corinthians 12 to 14 in the New Testament. And uh, this is, this part is called the way of love. Now, it says, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but I do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge and if i have all faith so that i can remove mountains but do not have love i am nothing if i give a if i give away everything i own and if i give over my body in order to uh, boast but do not have love i receive no benefit love is patient love is kind it is not envious love does not brag it is not puffed up, it is not rude, it is not self-serving, it is not easily angered or resentful. 
It is not glad about injustice, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endure all things. Love never ends, but if there are prophecies, they will be set aside. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be set aside. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But what? But when what is perfect comes, the partial will be set aside. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became an adult, I set aside childish ways. For now we see in a mirror indirectly. But then we will fa see face to face. Now I know in part. But then I will Full, I will know fully, just as I have been fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So, um, here. Actually, I have another book for this. <laughs> oh, I have, uh, I bought this book some time ago. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And it's cool because it comes in three books, but I, uh, I actually only finished reading the first book, which is The Four Agreements. Why would you cut that? So yeah, there's The Four Agreements, and, oh, and then there is The Voice of Knowledge, and then, last but not least, oh! last but not least, The Mastery of Love. But the cool thing about these books is that um, at the end of them, they have prayers and prayers that I hope will be relevant to you guys because I am going to talk to uh, one or say one, talk to one, say one for you guys. Here is a prayer for freedom. Uh, it says, today, creator of the universe, we ask that you come to us and share with us a strong communion of love. We know what your real name is, love what to have a communion with you means to share the same vibration the same frequency that you are because you are the only thing that exists in the universe today help us to be like you are to love life to be life to be love help us to love the way you love with no conditions no expectations no obligations without any judgment Help us to love and accept ourselves without any judgment. Because when we judge ourselves, we find ourselves guilty and we need to be punished. Help us to love everything that you create unconditionally, especially other human beings, especially those who live, all, who live around us, all our relatives and people whom we try, too hard, try so hard to love. Because when we reject them, we reject ourselves. And when we reject ourselves, we reject you. Help us to love others just the way they are with no condition. Help us to accept them the way they are without judgment. Because if we judge them, we find them guilty. We blame them and we have the need to punish them. Today, clean our hearts of any emotional poison that we have. Free our minds from any judgment so that we can live in complete peace and complete love. Today is a very special day. Today we open our hearts to love again that so that we can tell each other, I love you without any fear and really mean it today. We offer ourselves to you. Come to us, use our voices, use our eyes, use our hands, and use our hearts to share ourselves in a communion of love with everyone. Today, Creator, Help us to be just like you are. Thank you for everything that we receive this day, especially for the freedom to be who we really are. Amen. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, if you guys could show as much love on this video as I love you guys, that would be awesome, you know? Um, so um, if you guys have any questions or uh, you guys want to speak to me my comments actually I'll I'll put my Instagram down in the uh, in the by or below in the YouTube section and if you guys 
you guys can send me a message anytime. I'm I'm free. I will provide the best uh best positive feedback that I can give you guys. Um but yeah, anyways, you guys are awesome and uh I'll give you a big hug. See you guys later.